Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program with Meal Cucumber. Okay, so um Let's have a look. Uh we've done something with the science points we earned last time. Actually I need to show you this. We've got specialized construction, where is it? Here we go. This one. Uh, which will give us bigger um protective shells, which are good for our next mission. Also the larger docking ports and stack separators and whatnot, radio attachment points, those things. Those are really interesting because we need to be um, building stuff for our space bases, that the missions we have for the space bases and such, and especially the uh, missions on the ground. And we have some brand adapters here, we have the, Rumbo, uh, the Rockomax Jumbo fuel tanks here, unlocked with the advanced fuel system so those two are unlocked which is great because we really needed those we've got a million Gerben box here and we're gonna earn some more because the thing I am planning to do oh my goodness build a service outpost on Duna build service outpost on Minus look at that plant the flag on Minus couldn't be easier and go on orbital spacewalk near Kerbin that's ridiculous. That's easy. In orbit of Kerbin. We're gonna be in orbit anyway. That's an easy one, man. We'll, we'll take it. There we go. Science data. Rescue Mad Bell Kerbin from orbit of Minmus. I don't know, should we? It's a lot of money, though. In, stranded in orbit around Mer Minmus. <laughs> we could try this. We can take. It, it can take ten years. Ah, we can't accept it because we're full of contracts. Never mind. Okay, so we are going to build a rocket that goes to Minmus and delivers a space station that supports at least five terminals. Is that right? Let's see, build an outpost, uh, land an outpost on Minmus, build a new outpost that has an antenna, a docking port, and can generate power. Have a facility that uh, supports at least five kerbals and main stability. So we need something that has an antenna, docking port, and power. Okay, cool. Totally do that. Um, and let's see, let's see, the Mark II command pod. Would that be the thing to do in this case? Crew capacity 3. Oh my god, yes. What? Lander can crew capacity 2. So technically speaking, we could make something that would land on Minmus and then leave again. Right? Right. Gonna have the mobile processing lab. Oh, mobile processing lab. Look at that. It's beautiful. Okay. Let's have a look. See what we can build here. We'll need the decoupler. The octagonal strut might be useful at some point. Hitchhiker storage container. Four kerbals. There we go. That's gonna be our that's gonna be our base. And I suppose it needs a um a couple of other things as well, like a an observation station thing. Thingy. I'm not sure. Ideally, what I'd like to do is land it and make it totally mobile. That would be that would be super awesome. Oh, we can we can get these. Okay, let's get these. Why? By all means. Wheels. We need wheels. We need the mobility enhancer as well. Crew cabin, um, Mark 1 crew cabin for 2. No. No. I'd love to build something that actually rolls around. That would be the best. The absolute best. Hmm. We could bring a rover. I, I guess. We could bring a rover. I don't know. But before we do anything, um, the Mark One Command Pod. Um, could I have the Mark Two Command 
pot in here. Does it have? Does it have the maximum temperature in skin internal? Skin 2400. So it has its own heat shield. Am I right? I wish I knew. I don't. That's the problem. <laughs> I don't know if this thing has its own heat shield. Does it? Should I bring one? You know what? We'll do this. And then we'll get rid of this. Hold on. We'll simply... Yeah, we'll get this. This is our main component here. There we go. So basically what I'm thinking here... And cucumbers should never think... Is we should make a final stage that, that can go back to Kerbin. Sort of an escape hatch thing. Yeah, you know what? We can totally do that. Hold on. We can totally do that. We'll, we'll do this. This is our escape pod. Basically, the uh, delivery of the um, ship will happen from a ship within a ship. Does that make sense? I don't know, but that's what we'll do. Uh, mark one parachute on there. There we go. Cool. Okay. Then we'll have one of those things. Where is, are they? I don't know where they are. No. Forgot. Can we store all of the experiments when coming back? That is a good question, Cucumber. I have no idea. Char rechargeable battery pack. And we'll get to that. Hold on. Uh, decoupler. There we go. I'm talking to myself. I know I am. Uh, we need something to get off Minmus quickly. Something that's completely and utterly ours and not used by whatever. The thing we are lifting. Is that enough fuel? I have no clue. I don't think it is. It might not be. Minmus has l very low gravity though, so we really shouldn't worry too much about it. Let's get the Terrier. It's probably our best bet here. Plenty of fuel to get off the ground. I hope it'll lift itself. That's question number two. We'll have to wait and see. Alright. Stack the coupler. And then I I guess what we could do. Yeah. Stack a science ball on top. Science Junior. <laughs> there we are, that's that. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this one bit. I have several problems with this idea. One of them being that this might be completely unsafe con construction right here. We might tip over, and I don't want to tip over unless we make a very broad foot. That's that's it. That's what we need to do, isn't it? Airstream protective shell, two and a half meters. That one's new. Um. Yeah, we could totally pack the escape pod in a, a a mod like a thing like this. Close fairing. Oh, we can close it around this deal. Make that the top of our rocket. That looks really good. It'll be launching blind, but you know, pff, who cares, right? Um, we can even add in some batteries at the top here to make it slightly less problematic when launching. Hold on. Inline stable. That's the small one. I need a bigger one. Don't we have the big one yet? Apparently not. Bra brand recoupler. No. It's not the one I was looking for. I was looking for the batteries. Damn it. Batteries, batteries, batteries. 
batteries. There we go. Those are huge. <laughs> Let's get two big ones in here. There we are. And it also needs solar panels. I guess we can bring those as well. Where's our solar panels? The big ones. Yeah. Um. Hmm. How will we do this? Can we? Mirrored, yes. Yeah, that will work. Maybe another couple on the side there. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we should get some some of this in here. Mobility enhancers, just no, just one. Mobility enhancer. More mobility enhancers, just to make sure that we can get up there. In case of emergencies, I'm gonna get rid of the fairing at some point, and then you know you gotta, you gotta reach down. As disgusting as that sound, that's what you gotta do. For some reason, that's not doing what I want it to do. Why not? I want like stuff to grab here all the way down, if I can. There we are. That looks relatively okay. Oh, whoops. Come on. Oh, come on. No. Stupid fairing. You were correct, and now you're wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We can redo that. Let's see. So this is gonna be a design video. If you're not interested in this, simply don't watch. <laughs> this is gonna be a very boring sit if you're not interested in that. There we go. So that's gonna hopefully not blow up the parachute, but I don't think it will. I don't think it will. I think we'll be fine. There we go. Alright. Let's move you all the way up. We'll call this the Jebediah Mark 10 because I think that's... I don't know where we were in that numbering. Mark 10. There we go. Mark 10. A. Save. So it's the first of the Mark 10 Jebediahs. And now we need the, um, the thing that's going to go at the bottom here. Oh, we need more uh, science-y things, of course. Oh, stupid me. We have so many things we can science, like the atmospheric fluid expecto variometer thing. Got that, that there, and, and we should totally bring one. Clearly, why wouldn't we? Um, how are we gonna do that? I, I don't know. Those batteries are in the wrong spots believe we should put them somewhere can we put them down here is that an option even will that not break us when we break the fairing probably not let's put one over on this end here can we we can oh there's two now that wasn't quite what I had anticipated and just one and we'll have um we needed an antenna on this bit as well so Put an antenna on. There we go. Press met parameter. Something to gauge te uh, the, the um, gauge temperature with. That's also somewhat reach reachable for our carbons. There we go. So that's done. That's done. We could go for another one of these, the goo pods maybe two 
There we are, lots of weight on that side, but I don't think it will matter in the grand scheme of things. So it has power, it has an antenna, it has the sciency bits that we need so desperately. Now what we need is the pod for the crew. Here it is, the hitchhiker storage can. Great job. <laughs> okay, so this is the bit that's gonna land. We're gonna fit it with the right kind of struts. Um, 12 meters per second. Well, we're not gonna land with 12 meters per second. We won't ha hold if we do. Um, are these... These have a very high mass though. Left light to my LT5 landing struts. Okay. How big are these? Are small. We don't want small, we want big. We want freaking huge. Um. see yeah we want the biggest the biggest possible let's see what happens if we oh this is beautiful it's definitely wide enough to get us down and solid on the ground and that's what we're going for so put, lock those up there we go now we need a fuel tank something that'll handle the the uh, the um, the actual landing here RCS fuel tank that is actually that could be very useful but we're bringing that in the main stage um, where's the big fat fuel tank there it is this is probably all we need I f I'm thinking that's all we need I'm hoping that's all we need now we need something to stop us from descending <laughs> Oh, we've got Juno jet engines now. Oh, those are the new things. I haven't even checked those. Huh. I totally should. That's the spark. 18 kilonewtons of thrust. Mm-hmm. Man. What to do here? The poodle. 250 kilonewtons of thrust. Can we land now if we do this? Nope, the poodle is sticking out. And that's not what we're doing. I guess we need some of these, the thuds. And we can have... I guess we can have four of those. Like this. One. These are quite heavy though. Two. Is this a good idea? Probably. Okay, yeah, that's that's gonna do it. There we go. So that's gonna that's gonna do that. And this is our lander stage. Okay. And we need to make sure that this doesn't fire immediately. And this shouldn't also immediately fire. That would be a bad thing. A very bad thing indeed. Uh, and we need that fairing to open up somewhere else. Not here. Okay, let's retract that. So this is our lander bit. Our base basically. Plus the uh, escape pod thing that we will be using. Um, and this part will stay on the planets. And um, let's see. Can I... Just okay. We can add something here at the bottom. Sort of thinking it would be a cool thing for us to have like a rover here. So if we bring a service bay, that would be too big, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would probably be too. It would be too big. Damn it was a good idea it was a very good idea but it's not gonna work because service bay damn uh, and it's also gonna be adding to the weight so we don't want that right now oh I was looking forward to that well, maybe if we put in a small one 
could try that. Small one, open that one up. Oh wow, that looks pretty. Pretty. And then we can, we might be able to build a, a very small rover that... F no. <laughs> no, no cucumber, no. <laughs> we could attach a rover to the side somewhere. <laughs> like the, the back end. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should. Teeny tiny rover. Just a small rover, sir. Uh, I would like to bring one, but... Oh, it needs a docking port, too. Yeah, we need a docking port. Otherwise, the uh, the AI of the game is not going to accept it. So we might might we might we take a small Clampatron Jr. here. A small one. Just one. There we go. It doesn't have to be... Like, it doesn't mean it has to be on its own. It can have something attached. So, what we could do, potentially... Is have a uh, a rover attached here, a small one, like a really like a, a little mini mini miniature thing. I think that would be a very good plan. So we've got a we've got a docking port here now. That's that's groovy. Um, what can we attach? There was just a structural thing for that, right? Stack decoupler, no. Stack separator. Radial decoupler, that looks a little big. It is a little big. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. No, this is a terrible idea to begin with. I don't think it's gonna do well. Uh, I guess we could just put it up here instead of the uh, viewport. That looks fine. It needs at least one, you know. Maybe we can just put it under the viewport. I don't know. I don't know where to put it. I guess I'll put it over here. It's just fine. We'll do that. A lot of weight on, weight on that side of the vehicle, but who cares? No, wait, wait. Even better. The front of the vehicle. Just, you know, in, to have some sort of weight distribution that's sensible. No, let's lock, lock the suspension. The suspension could be as it is right now. Okay, so this is the lander bit again. Let's build the rocket bit, shall we? Let's see. And ideally, this part has power. Um, this part should also has it have its own power. Obviously, we should bring some solar panels. Cucumber, let's not run out of power like last time. That was unfortunate, if to say the least. Heat shield. We didn't bring a heat shield on this. Oh, we don't need one. <laughs> There's no need for a heat shield, cucumber. No need. Um. Okay, that's fine. That's all fine. I'm thinking here. Uh, solar panels. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Um. Is that not gonna? mess with things and not as much I think I think we'll be okay there's one solar panel that's sort of obstructed I'm guessing we can do it like this no like this then would that work yeah that would work okay great we've got solar power on every in each side so unless we go directly into the sun we will have solar power at some point during our flight even without that uh, speaking of which no this is okay we can totally charge with that and we do have these that we must remember to oh no wait a minute we need the other ones we do need the other ones because if we use these they won't be able to retract again so no mirrored. There we are. Because if we don't have the ability to retract them, we will be in trouble. In some relatively big trouble, in fact. Okay. All right. So lander stage is done. 
bringing one huge base up there in one go. That's the goal here. Rocco Max. Stack decoupler. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the huge fuel tanks. We're only looking at 31,000 just for the um, for this stage. The fuel super fuel tank. I'm thinking that's actually pretty cheap. I'd expected that to be more. Another one, maybe. Perhaps he, maybe, perhaps he, maybe, maybe, perhaps he. Another, oop. Brand, welcome back, brandy coupler. Now I have to say something. If my son wakes up within the next 10 minutes, I have to go to him. And I will be cutting this video short and we'll finish this in another episode. But for now, we're good. Extra fuel here. Let's see, I guess we'll go for some asparagus staging. If you don't know what that is, you might not know. Let's get a powerful enough engine in there. Main sail, there we go. Main sail will have to propel us. Um, okay, another main sail at the bottom here. Oof, this thing is now going into the hundred thousands of Kerbin dollars. Um, I was kind of thinking I might make it some sort of like an Ariane rocket and um, make it all sleek with extra skipper engines on the side. We've got these nose cone things. Um, small circuit intake. Why don't we have that? Um, Advanced nose cone type B. Cell. Is it in structural? Was it in structural? I'm trying to figure out where things went. I don't know. Oh no, wait, I know. I know now. Alright, I guess we need radial decouplers. Four of them. They need to be sort of high up. Like this. Maybe slightly less high. Like this. <laughs> I got the fuel engine, the fuel tanks in. Four of them. Oops. Like this? No, not like that. No, not like that at all. Yeah, this looks alright. Okay. Some more mainsail engines. Okay. Alright, now the deal is... What we'll do... Is add some more fuel... At the top here. There we go. Some more fuel. And then... Oh, here it is. That's the slanted one I was looking for. Um, well, no, we're not using that. We're using the, uh, the aerodynamic nose cones. Where are you? Nose cones. There we go. Mark 7 nose cones. There we are. So doing that. What we'll do is the following. Um, and we need separatrons, or don't we? We do. Do we have separatrons? Do we have the ability to lose our tanks without actually crashing them in to our sh ship? I don't know. Do we? I don't think we do. That is a problem. No separatrons. Hmm. Are they are they in utility? Ideally, what I would like to do is kick these things away, 
with enough, enough blast to, um, you know, get them out of the way without hitting our rockets. Well, we'll see how that goes. We'll have to fly s carefully. Very carefully. Alright, so, this fuel tank here. No, don't do that. Let's take a single one. Come on, don't do that. <sighs> okay, we'll do it one by one. No problem, we'll do it one by one. The game is just trolling me now. One going in here. Like so. And then that one. Bumping in there. There we are. So, this one will be pumping in here. And that one will be pumping in. Oh, oh god. In here. Right? Right. So, what we need to do is make sure that these. Am I right? Yeah, these. Ones, the, these ones separate first. Okay, hold on. This needs to light all at the same time. Then, these two need to go. And I need to figure out which is which. That's this one. That one needs to separate. And then, eventually, those two need to separate. That should be it. This is a 154 Kerbin dollar rocket, so this is better work. No, let's not do that. Right. Uh, let's get some struts in here as well. What the? What? Why? God, Unity, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ow. Okay, that created some weird strut strutting, but I am gonna go with it. I'm just gonna say thank you very much, game. Well, it's definitely strutted up, <laughs> that's for sure. So we've got struts to keep it stable, hopefully. Maybe we should use more struts, that's basically a good creed. Yeah, so there's struts at the top and at the bottom, keeping it relatively stable. There we go. That's our that's the plan right now. Okay. Now I really do hope we have enough uh, punch in these things to actually kick them out. Because if we don't, we're gonna be in a deal of trouble. Um, I could use some RCSing. And an advanced inline stabilizer would also be a good idea. Where to put it? Not a clue. Um, it's a bit of a thing to put it on that. That's the problem with this this tower, this tower of a construction. I don't want it to tip over upon landing. Can we... Hold on. There's one thing we need to check. So where is the center of mass on this thing? It's at the bottom. Okay, good. So it's going to be this that's going to be heavy. Even though... That's uh, perfect. I like that. And then over here it's down here. Nice. That's going to help. That's going to help a great deal, in fact. And just in case we're still in the atmosphere for whatever reason. And I need some more... Um, maneuvering. I'm gonna add some fins just to be absolutely certain that we have control over whatever we're doing. It's not gonna be as efficient, but it will be better than falling into back into Kerbin's atmosphere. Alright, so I'm thinking this would do. I'm gonna save it. 
Obviously, we're gonna test it. Not with the engineer. Oh, look, Magiki. It's time to uh, go to Minmus again. You're one of our en engineers, uh, our scientists that could definitely do all the uh, science experiments there. Um, I guess if we can bring, give Bill a permanent residency at the. Um, No, that's a bad idea. We, oh, we, need, we need to bring Lagervy. You need the experience, man. You're going to be flying. Mechki's going to be with you. It's going to be an all-ladies flight. In fact, we only have ladies at the moment. I don't know why. Bill's the only male Kerbin here. Because everyone else chickened out. Um, okay, so when will this light? What's that part? What? Oh, wait, that's that part. Okay, cool. Um, that somehow feels wrong. And that's probably because it is wrong, isn't it? No, it's right. It's correct. I'm, cor I'm wrong. It's right. Does that make any sense at all? Yes, it does. Okay. The engine's over here. and it, Yeah, it's right. It's no problem. Let's see. So this stage here. This stage here. Okay, hold on, hold on. So here. Between here and here, we can have the... Um, this thing deploy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Staging is correct. Troops are aboard. And we have two, we have a scientist on board, Mechki. She's right right here, she's fine. And I'm I'm pretty confident we could do this. So Minmus, Minmus base mission is ready for launch. I'm just gonna test launch it. And then next time we will be landing uh, on Minmus hopefully. And if this test launch goes right immediately, I guess we'll use it simply, quite simply put. That's what we'll do. This is a huge rocket. One of my bigger ones. That's completely wobbly. Wonderful. It's because it's so big. Look at that. It's wobbling like a little penis. <laughs> oh my god. It's totally lopsided. No. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I thought they weren't running anymore. Revert to launch. Stupid me. <laughs> then I launched him into the rocket. Uh, well, at least we know that we can la we can easily launch with. Oh, um, well, let's go for full throttle for a change. Let's just try that. There we go. That's an interesting little launch there. And uh, we hit. 100 meters per second already. Uh, throttle back to about 50% there. And go for it like a 10%. Okay, that's enough. Because if we do it anymore, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble. And we don't want that. We don't want to get in trouble. Not at this low at altitude. No trouble. Still speeding up. We're heading out, man. We're heading out there. Into the wild blue yonder. Soon we'll be able to ditch these empty tanks, which we just did. Hopefully they won't hit the space center too hard. Oh boy. That may damage some things. Let's go for the gravity turn. And why are you burning? What the hell? You're not supposed to burn. Okay, hold on. Virta launch. It's a bit of staging that I forgot to mention. Because our staging is, of course, completely screwed up. I forgot. I forgot about that bit. 
this is also wrong. Why is why is that a thing? <sighs> okay. Just a second. These things are not supposed to start there, you dumbasses. They're supposed to start like over here. And then probably after decoupling this bit. Good god. Now that could have gone very wrong. Very well, we'll give this another go. Good god. This is stupid. Try this again, this time without actually leaving. Slight incline. Still going up. Great. Good job, guys. Good job. We've cleared the tower. Well. I'm very sorry, that was completely uh, out of line of our uh, Gerbil engineers there. I don't know why they did that, but they did, and they did. Annoying, but part of life, I suppose. Okay, lose those, bye-bye. Ten kilometers, still going up, 50% thrust. Doing fine, those things are gonna drop maybe on the space center, that would be bad. Let's see, if we get a damage uh, assessment thing. 10%, there we go. Still going up. Getting a little bit steeper now, and how's our uh, apo? 26 kilometers, great. It's a good job there. Somewhat steeper yet. These main sails are gonna get us up here, up there, pretty easily, I think. Prograding, 35, 36. And we've got plenty of fuel to do this. So the Jebediah Mark 10 is doing a very good job so far. I'm very pleased with this. 46 kilometers. Still pretty much pressing out. Alright. Oh yeah, we're we are getting to the orbits. We are getting there, man. Let's go and uh, head towards that thing there. Okay. Still increasing in speed. That's perfect. How are we doing now? 70... Ah, uh, we're outside of the orbit now once we um, empty these tanks which is now gonna lose these and just say thank you very much 78 that's fine I guess we can start circularizing if we get that chance still in the atmo to be careful with this. Need to be very careful with this. Okay. One third ahead. There we are. We're in space. Yay! We made it into space. Well done, Letch, Letch Gurvy and Metchki. Well done indeed. Okay. So slowly increase our. Um, Circularization, if we can. That's actually going quite quickly. I'm just gonna speed things up a little. There we go. Going really rather well, I must say. Pushing, the, still pushing the apple. I just want to make sure that we are actually pushing it and not losing. 
things. Oh, look at the beautiful fuel amount we still have. Slurping it up, though. We're slurping it up. Slurpy style. Alright. Going completely mad here. Okay. Come on, engine. Push her out. Come on. You can do it. You can do it without actually dropping too much. Um, okay. Apparently, that's, that's it for this stage. Holy shit! Oh my god, that exploded. But we're fine, though. We are fine. Okay, and that circularizes fairly quickly. As expected. That was our total fuel amount. We need this to be... Oh, in space. There we go. It's above 70. Perfect. Oof. Okay, so we made it to this part. No, to make it to Minmus. There's the Mun. There's Minmus. Set us targets. Plenty of fuel to make that maneuver, I would think. But we do have to match Minmus inclination, uh, which is the first thing we will be doing. I guess we'll burn, uh, what is it, anti normal? That maneuver. Is it normal? That was normal. It was normal. Normal. Trying to eyeball it here. Did we get it? That would work. Wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Great. So, that's all we'll do. Things. We'll burn some anti normal there. Warp there. Oh, goodness. I forgot. We were actually past that point. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, I'm preparing the. Uh, I'm gonna prepare the uh, the transfer to Minmus next, and um, I guess we need to face the node. Facing that node now would really help. I have very little maneuverability with this thing. That might prove to be an issue. Even with SAS, I'm pulling hard on the stick. And the reaction wheels are really not giving me much. But that's because of this stage. It just isn't strong. It's a very weak reaction wheel. And we need newer reaction wheels. But that's one of the goals we have with our next science bits. We have SAS assisting us, so... That's helping. And I think my son just woke up, so I'm gonna perform this maneuver real quick. Let that be it. I'm gonna reach the maneuver in one minute and zero seconds. And then we're just gonna burn it slowly because I don't want to burn too much. Here we are. Almost. 40 seconds until we get there. Twenty eight seconds. Yes, we will burn in about f six seconds. We'll burn at the four o'clock mark. One, two, 
watch it go. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah, I'm gonna call that good enough. Alright, so next time we will be making the transfer to our great friend Minmus. And we will be going there, kids. So thank you all for watching and please leave, leave a like and or comment if you enjoyed this video. Uh, and um, I will be seeing you all next time. Bye-bye.